All right, we want to set up a reference image for the morph illustration. I'm going to open up uh, image search in Google and I'm going to type in horse. My idea is a horse slash rooster and I'm going to go to images and here we've got a bunch of images. I'm going to go over here to tools and size and I want large. So I want a large file size so that I know the, the picture or the reference image is going to be nice and clean and clear. And then you want to look at a horse, um, you know, probably something interesting, not just standing there. Maybe it's trotting or jumping, uh, something that's visually pleasing, not just a boring stand horse standing there. I'm going to type in chicken or rooster, and I'm going to try to combine this horse with a rooster. So I'm looking for a rooster head. That one's pretty good. You want to think about the position of the horse body and the position of the rooster head so that they sort of match so therefore I've got kind of a profile view here and we're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Word and now what we want to do is drag our images into Word so that we can uh, start to edit this so I'm going to start off with the horse first I need to find it here on my desktop and it looks like it's down there on the bottom so I need to move my over. I'm going to go ahead and change this uh, orientation to landscape. And drag my rooster in first. And what you want to do is click on the image and then go to format picture at the top. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just resizing it. I always want to pull from the corner so it maintains the proportion of the image. I'm going to go to format and I'm going to click on the dog here wrap text and I'm going to do in front of text so this will allow me to move the image around on word drag the horse in here and I'm going to click on this and go to format picture and we can click the dog and do in front of text and you're going to notice that it's in front of the rooster now which is okay we can now move this thing around I'm going to go ahead and go to format and crop because I'm going to crop out what I don't need. And a little bit from the top there, it looks pretty good. And I'm going to put the rooster over here and notice it's behind the horse. So I want to click on it and crop it so it's just the head. Now, if I click on the rooster again, I can go up here to in front of text. That didn't work, so I'm going to go here to reorder and put bring to front. So now it's in front of the horse. And now I can simply position this on the horse where I want it to be. You know, it's not going to line up exactly. That's an adjustment that you'll make when you go to the sort of tracing process of this. Um, but we are trying to make this. Uh, in proportion, or I guess it's out of proportion because the rooster's head's not this big, but we want to make it in proportion to what a horse's head would look like. And uh, we can uh, select both of these and stretch them, make them a little bit bigger, and again, reposition the uh, head there. Uh, if I wanted to add some more things, I could maybe find a rooster tail and add it to the back of the horse, uh, maybe some rooster feet if I wanted to make the toes or the hooves of the horse feet look like chicken. We're just going to go to file and print and you'll be ready to trace and grid. So I've got a color image and I'm going to go ahead and turn these to black and white so I get a recolor and we also have a black and white image. This is going to help us when we go to trace this. So you want to go ahead and print a color image and black and white image.